tonight about the future of Sports Authority, the company announcing this week that it's closing all of 450 of its stores. Now, this will impact several local stores, and now we're hearing some valuable advice for shoppers from a top state official. Iowa News News reporter Steph Machado has more details from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom in Warwick. In the coming months, all Sports Authority stores nationwide are expected to close, including three in Rhode Island and a dozen in Massachusetts. <laughs> this softball family buys plenty of gear at Sports Authority. Bats, helmets, headbands, everything that goes along with it. Gina Primrose says her daughters will miss shopping here. It's going to be sad. Got a nice New England Patriots t-shirt. Mike Sully from Michigan stopped into the Warwick Sports Authority while visiting Rhode Island. He didn't realize it might be his last purchase at the retailer. I'm surprised by that news. Uh, they're pretty big sports chain. Sports Authority has not announced a closing date for its 450 stores, but documents filed in bankruptcy court detail a plan to sell the company to a team of liquidators. A judge is expected to rule on the deal next week. Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin issued some advice for consumers, such as use gift cards now before it's too late, return unwanted items, ask the company about any warranties you've purchased for products, and make sure you understand the return policy if you plan on shopping the liquidation sale. Customers we met were not concerned about having somewhere to buy their sporting goods. I think there's plenty of other stores. And Gina Primrose, who runs a Coventry softball league, is looking forward to shopping the sales. I'll see what they have. Get some new equipment for the town. More specifics, such as closing dates, are expected once the sale of the company becomes final, possibly as early as next week's bankruptcy hearing. Reporting in Warwick with the Mobile Newsroom, Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.